Hi guys, it's Fapple and Steve here today. We are here with Alberto Lollo Tocanne, who made top 16 at the Italian Open with Flo Van Der Is. Probably the only Flo Van Der Is in top, probably. Because uh, without mine, Flo Van Der Is player unappeared and only the true good players Flo Van Der Is are there. So mine is for pussies. So, Lollo Token, please show us your deck profile. Yeah, I played Thunder, I ended up 7-2. This is the least, uh, obviously. And now a shout out to our sponsors. The first one is Grad, the best grading company in Europe, which offers grading services for all languages and PCGs. The second one, Games to Collect, is one of the top Italian sellers of the market, specialized in American high rarity cards, gold formats and misprints. They also collect your cards up to 85% of their value. The third one is Magician Circle, a local store located in Trieste, specialized in sealed and custom products. They also host events for all TCGs. After that we got Gamersland, another local store based in Abic Grasso, Lombardi's best shop to buy singles, sealed and play weekly tournaments. Next we have Extimate Cards which is one of the top sellers in the market, specialized in meta cards located in Albenga where you can eat and play with your mates every day. Last but not least we have Chapa's Playmats, they produce amazing custom playmats, they may have your own images on them. All their links are in the description down below, so don't forget to check them out. 3 Robina, 3 Eagle, 1 Token, that's an awesome. Uh, 1 3, 3 Standard, 4 Tribute Package, 2 Amp, 1 Apex. I bring it back because I think right now is a good card and uh, right for that is always a must. Then uh, the strongest card in Yu-Gi-Oh! game, uh, Win Statue. I think I won like uh, five matches with the second one today. Uh, unbelievable. Shifter, nothing to say. Four Flounder cards, three Magnificent Map, three Quick Spell and one Explored Wind, three Staple. For the pot, I played the three prosperity and three duality. I cut the extravagance because I didn't find the space to play everything. Then uh, the second the strongest card in the deck, the ruler. This card has no sense. And the uh, thunder trap, obviously. And then three imperma because this card solves a lot of problems like it Kylo setting the counter, gigantic summoning toad, and then three on the pretty standard. And also is an outcome of Ruska. For the extra deck, uh, I played... Uh, Just a random target, let's go! <laughs> then for the extra deck, I played the Zeus package, uh, one downer, the one Zeus, and all the three Lilus, because they can uh, be useful in some different situations. This search one, this is an out for zombie ward, and this one attack directly. Then I played Goddess, Apollosa, that is kind of cool, because you can do it with statue on the field. Uh, access code, that is the best. Out for Zombie World, out for Zombie World, out for Babuska, a link to summon with statue, an extender for access code, and then the best to add. This is the only one I summoned today with access code. And then for the side deck, obviously, three Arpis Father Dark Storm, crazy, three Grandfather, best card. Uh, one trap three because I want to play four of these and uh, the man who point strongest card in, in the game. L'uomo che punta after statue. La harta degli dei. The strongest card in the game. Uh, then for back removal three cosmic and one duster because I didn't find space to play in the main deck. And then the best card of the tournament. Uh, Unexpected uh, spies. The, the king. Unexpected. No one summon root Kalos against you. Sprite sometimes go for extending and summoning a lot of monster before doing red and. This card is just incredible. It's a body you can play even also with just uh, eagle in the hand. Uh, crazy. So man, thanks for your deck profile and uh, Thank you. congratulations and see you the next time. Stay plus, stay powerful. See ya. See ya.